here at cape sanitary supply and today um, i'm wanting to talk about uh, sprayers for applying disinfectant so i think a lot of us are very familiar with uh, electric electrostatic sprayers that they've been all over the news um, but there are other types of sprayers that can be used and i just want to show kind of the different options that exist out there um, especially as uh, the supply chain has loosened up a little bit now um, we're starting to get a few more options um, besides just your um, electrostatic sprayer. So let's start with the very basics, right? Even these were in, in, um, in rough supply there for a while. You can get a basic trigger sprayer, but this is your most basic um, form of spraying technology, right? Um, after that, we have a little unit that does the same thing, has an adjustable um, tip on it, um, but has uh, two AA batteries that you can spray continuously. So you think about, hey, getting those fingers um, tired from spraying, this is a great solution. Obviously a little bit more cost than your basic one, but that's um, a, a step that you could take. The next step up is basically a modified paint sprayer, all right? And so this is one of my colleagues has, has um, done a bunch of these, and this is available. This applies disinfectant very, very quickly. Also has adjustable nozzle um, and, and works um, with a um, a lithium ion battery so it can be recharged okay and then obviously your last uh, sprayer is what many of you have seen are these victory electrostatic sprayers we also have in the backpack have it down here I'm not going to pull it out um, but this has been a, a, a great way to apply disinfectant quickly so with our first three what we're going to get is just traditional spraying with electrostatic um, the difference we get with this thing is it actually has the ability to wrap around surfaces and I'll show that to you here in a little bit to the differences. Okay, um, I'm going to show each of these things on the wall behind me just to give you an idea of how quickly they spray. So here I go. All right, you do much of that and your fingers are going to be sore. I'll tell you that right now. Um, all right, let's see what the coverage looks like. Um, the one thing I really notice, I mean, I can see the coverage, but it's, it's very spotty. You kind of have it up and down. Maybe just a little bit faster. Um, definitely much easier because I don't have to keep on moving my finger. And if I look at it, actually, I can see a lot more uh, moisture up there. So, yes, definitely. Um, does a, a more complete job than a traditional trigger sprayer. Okay, here's our modified paint gun. One thing I did not mention is I'm just running water through here. That's why I'm not using PPE. Um, so obviously I'd recommend using PPE. All right, so we'll see how this uh, little guy works. Okay, that thing works very, very quickly. It's putting out a lot of product very quickly. Let's see how the coverage looks. I look at the side, yes, I can see very good coverage, and that covers very, very quickly. Okay, our last little test unit here is with a Victor Electrostatic Sprayer, so we'll go ahead and apply it on this wall here. All right, and that one applies it also quickly. Um, I'll check out the coverage. Very, very smooth coverage um, on the wall. All right. Okay, we'll do the wraparound test with the modified paint sprayer. So here we go. Spray that. And as you can see, it covers it, like I said, very, very quickly. And if you look at this, you can see how much is on there. Then you can look at the bottom. Good coverage there. Now let's flip it around here. I don't know if you can see that. There's no coverage on the top or now the bottom part. You can't see anything that got wet down there. So that's that would be expected since it is not electrostatic. Okay, now we're going to do the same test with the electrostatic sprayer um, with the same the same um, piece of HVAC here. So we're going to spray it like this here. The thing you'll notice about the um, Victory sprayer is it's not putting out as much volume as your high volume. Um, low pressure modified paint sprayer. But what you will see is it's have a, it does have a nice even coat, just like the other one, covered really well. You can see that um, down here in the bottom. Great coverage, very, very smooth. It has definitely the smoothest coverage. Now let's see how it did on um, the bottom surface here. See if we got any coverage. And if you look there, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, how when I put my finger there, it actually covered the top part too, which doesn't happen um, unless it's an electrostatic sprayer. 
Okay, what I want to share is kind of my final review here. Obviously, um, you might figure out what I pick as the winner is your Victory Electro Electrostatic Sprayer just because of that wraparound technology and the way that works. If you think about real world applications we're trying to get um, around doorknobs, that kind of thing, we really want the wrapping technology. However, from a budgetary standpoint, I'll talk to you about how much these all cost. This one's more in that $700 range, okay? So it is the most expensive. Um, these modified paint sprayers actually are pretty awesome. Um, puts out a tremendous amount of volume so you can cover very quickly. It just doesn't have that, um, that wraparound effect. But from a price standpoint, this is more in that $200 range. Both of these guys here have 20 volt, 20 volt lithium ion batteries. You're gonna get a lot more runtime with your Victory Sprayer just because it's not pumping out that same amount of volume. Um, so you're probably looking around four hours for something like this versus this little guy is maybe more like 30 minutes, okay? And then you have this little guy, budgetary wise, I'm not really sure what this even costs. I think it's maybe around that $20, $25. But um, it's definitely a step up from this here. Um, it's not rechargeable batteries, it's two AA batteries. I think they say it should handle about 15 tankfuls um, for that price, um, for those that battery power. So it just gives you some options. Um, and ultimately that's what we wanna do is, is just let folks know, hey, depending on what your budget is, depending on what your needs are, and these might be a good option for you. So if you do have any other questions, please feel free, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be glad to help you with um, your sprayer needs. Thank you.